Hello again. Well, um, we've got a, quite a simple job today, hopefully. Um, while we were at the motorhome show, we bought a barometer because uh, the clock that came with the van, this clock here, um, doesn't work. Uh, I tried putting the battery in it, tried having a little bit of a fiddle around. Um, it's just a, a clock with a cheap sort of movement in. It uh, couldn't really get it going. Nothing I could do really would, uh, would get this going again. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. Probably not worth fiddling around with. So we brought a new barometer, um, which is in the cupboard up here. Um, very nice, cost me about uh, 27 quid. So there it is. Um, unfortunately, it won't fit straight onto these screws. It nearly fits, but not quite. As you can see, these screws are a bit of a lash up anyway. There's obviously been something cut into the panel there um, in square format, maybe a, a clock or an instrument panel of some sort. Um, and that's been filled in and those screws put up and the clock to cover the hole. So um, I think the first thing to do is to remove those screws because uh, they're obviously not helping us at all. That bit of infill might fall out when I do that perhaps, I'm not sure. Yeah, Nicky really wanted a, a clock to go up here but uh, the uh, barometer's caught my eye and I, I rather fancied one, so uh, we'll put a clock somewhere else. Um, I'm not sure if there isn't a clock on the dash. Uh, maybe there's not, I can't quite remember. But uh, she wants a clock that you can see in here to tell the time easily. So anyway, that, that bit is uh, obviously glued in there. It's not the greatest job. Um, I think at some point I'll sort that out so it's a bit uh, bit neater. Now this barometer really um, needs to uh, cover that up completely and because it's slightly smaller than the clock, yeah, only, only just slightly smaller but uh, we need to position it quite carefully so it will cover that hole and look, look, look nice. Okay, let's sort that out then. So I've got a bit of cardboard and the first thing I'm going to do is make a, a template to uh, to line up where this barometer is going to go. So I'm going to position it nice and square on the cardboard and then draw around it as close as I can get. That's pretty, pretty close I think. And then I'm going to cut that out with the, uh, the Stanley knife. Right, let's go in the van and mark it up. So here we go. Um, I'm going to position this cardboard disc so it it's nice and central. There. So, so right. Let's uh, put this screw in here. It's all very flimsy, so I want to just make sure that that's biting in that plywood. There we go. I think what I'm going to have to do in the future is maybe make something else up here, but uh, for the moment, I just want to get my barometer up. Let's have a look. Okay, well I've looked up the, uh, the local air pressure and it's about 1,008 millibar so I'm just going to adjust this um, to sort of calibrate it to around about 1,008. 
which means thousand and eight is there. There we go. And then I'll set this brass needle to match up with the the black needle. I'll be able to see what the the barometer thinks the weather's gonna do. Well that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.